morning everybody. Um, second video for the night. I am doing a secondhand smart doll box opening. Um, Fuji as always is here to greet the newcomer and even though I really love the idea of holding off until Christmas for this particular doll, I, I can't wait. There's just no way I can wait that long. I actually, with Fuji, um, waited about this time, the same time last year, she ended up coming in October of last year, and I didn't open up, didn't open her up until Christmas. Um, she was my Christmas present for my husband last year, and um, I, it would have been just beautiful to open up this doll on Christmas. I can't wait. There's no way I can wait that long. So we're just gonna do it now. This was a doll I bought off of eBay. Um, from a secondhand seller, of course, and I'm pretty excited about it, and it should be pretty special for Fuji here because it's kind of her, um, like, twin, but not. You guys will see in a moment. Um, the really wonderful thing about this particular eBay seller was that um, we went back and forth on, on offers and counter offers, and um, the seller did eventually accept my um, counter offer, my, my final best offer, and it really worked out. It was, it was nice to work with a seller like that on the day. Um, that is my dog, again, scratching on the door. They want to be in here while I'm filming. So, here is the packaging that we see. Um, a little bit of a different um, bag than what we're currently used to. Uh, nice orange CJ logo, smart doll, designed by Danny Chu, produced by Culture Japan. And on the back side, the really adorable Mirai Tsunaga. And there's a couple of um, items packed in here. So, let's see what we got. Um, a pair of the jeans. I don't remember what they're referred to as. Um, but they come with a nice brown belt, which is fantastic because I was thinking about getting one of those. I don't think I have many of just the single belt. And it has a nice little CJ logo at the end, and there's the um, Mirai tag on the side of the pocket there. Um, ooh, I don't remember this being part of the little listing. Maybe this was an extra she threw in. Maybe it was, and I just didn't see it. Um, a lovely pair of high heels, and they are like kind of like brown suede. Sorry, you can't see them very well. Um, they're just a very nice brown, and then on the inside they're um, white with the CJ logo stamped in gold there. Let me see if I can get a close-up of those for you guys. So, oops, there they are. Very nice heels. I don't really have um, many shoes from CJ, except for like the vinyl shoes, which I actually really like. I have two of their um, white like vinyl shoes, and then like three or four of those brown vinyl pairs of like ankle boots um, that came in some of the chaos orders. I just like them. I think they're really great and they're very um, sturdy. In fact, uh, Fuji is wearing a pair right now. See, there they are. Super cute. Kind of loose, but they work with her um, chaos outfit. So, the last thing in here is actually something I've been hunting for for a really long time, and it is um, Kizuna's really fantastic, like one-third uh, length sleeve Culture Japan kind of baseball outfit or shirt with the um, blue. So it's really nice because my um, older, like classic Mimi, you can't really see her, but that's this one right here. On the corner you can just kind of see her face. My lighting is pretty dark. Um, she came with her orange one, and then now I have the blue one for... Um, Kizuna, which is really cool. So that's the whole uh, outfit that came with from this seller, along with those fantastic shoes and this really adorable bag. So we'll set that there. And then they wrapped the doll up very nicely, all bubble wrapped. And <laughs> it's kind of funny, they put a dryer sheet in here, which gives a really pleasant smell. Um, it's fine. I, I don't know that you would need to do that, but it's okay. Um, so we have the stand, telescopic stand, and 
behind if you can tell you probably can't because my light is terrible this is um, milks can come can't really tell in comparison to Fuji here maybe it kind of looks slightly lighter to me but I'm like looking at it in person so this is a milk doll so it's an older doll um, let's see how we get this out here um, they really package this pretty nicely for sending it second hand. Um, I'm pretty appreciative of their efforts here. So, still have to do the classic unfold doll, right? It's <laughs> it's a moment that all smart doll owners have to do, even second hand smart doll owners. Um, let me just open this up here if I can. Get this tape open. I suppose I could just rip it. I don't really need to preserve this bubble wrap, but. I'll just make it easier here, sort of. All right, so this is another milk girl, and um, it is definitely an older doll because um, she's not really available anymore. Um, <laughs> she shipped her with her uh, feet off and then the head off so that um, it would fit appropriately in this box, which is perfectly fine. Um, this lovely little um, bikini I actually already have, so I will be um, selling it to somebody who already contacted me. Um, so now I have it, yay, I can send it out to them. That'll be fantastic. Um, just as with all the smart dolls, um, just standard, everything looks good on here. Um, I can pop the feet in. Um, she did come with a uh, large bust instead of a small bust or like the standard bust but I think in a recent or not so recent chaos box I actually got a either standard or small milk bust so I do have an alternate bust for her if I need to and with my milk Mirai I actually got an alternate bust too but it's like a large bust and um, I was trying to get rid of it but maybe I'll keep it now that I have a couple milk girls um, so Here's your feet. They're just the um, flat feet. Oh, those elusive high heel feet, right? All right, let's pop these feet in so we can check her standing capabilities, which I'm sure will be just fine. Oops, put it on the wrong side. Of course I did. Gotta pay attention. All right, here we go. Easy peasy to just slide right in. I love doing the old, the old can they stand test. Let's see if I can do it. Ta-da! Yay! And now the piece de resistance, the head, so you all can know who I ended up getting. Um, it is, there it is. They actually sent the head inside the wig in the wig bag, so that works just fine. Because they wanted to, they told me when they were shipping it, they, they were shipping it with her head um, off so they could fit it into the box. So here is the fantastic wig. Can you guys guess from this who it is? It is uh, the original uh, wow. version of Kizuna. So it's like so special. I This will probably be the only doll that I'll ever have multiple versions of. I, I just love Kizuna's look. She was the first smart doll I picked. Although going back through my old save pictures, I discovered that I had saved a picture of Summer from Smart Doll Post back in like 2018, and I never got into them until just last year, but um, Summer I ended up getting and ordering second hand as my second Smart Doll. I didn't open her until like number four. Um, anyway, but it's just, I, I'm so happy to get uh, the original, like big open-eyed uh, Kazuna, because I really liked Smart Doll for their anime style. Like, I love anime. It's like a thing that I've just loved for like the last, I don't know, 20 years of my life. Um, so I really loved that. And it was just funny when I ended up picking um, Fuji here, her eyes are not the big open eyes, but they're big enough that I can still appreciate that anime look. But um, I always loved seeing people's older uh, Kizunas um, with the little bit longer hair, I like that too, and the cute little side braids. Um, 
that come designed as the part of this wig. And then just her big, beautiful blue eyes. She's so cute. I'm so excited to have two versions of a doll that I really love. Um, I The only other doll that I have in my um, doll collection that I have two of is um, my favoriteest anime character of all time, which is Chi from Chobits. She's a resin doll. She's not a smart doll or anything like that, but um, I know many smart doll owners love Chi too because there's a couple um, couple artists out there who make like the um, 3D printed Chi ears, um, and I have some. <laughs> I should put those on some of my dolls for um, Halloween. But anyway, um, I just, I'm so happy to be able to have this particular doll that got me into smart doll in the first place um, and just round out this amazing year that I've had with smart doll and being able to welcome home uh, an older version of her plus um, the first to match like the first version or the first smart doll that I ever got so let's just pop her head on and see how she looks all together there she is I just love her. I'm so honored and thankful that I'm able to be part of this um, doll collecting hobby, especially with smart dolls, um, and able to, you know, purchase the dolls that I want. I know the last couple years have been really difficult for so many people with the pandemic and everything like that. My job happens to be considered essential, so I never had time off. In fact, I got uh, forced to work a lot of overtime over the last couple years, so I am able to uh, financially pick up these dolls that come along every once in a while as people resell them. And um, I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful that there's great sellers out there. I'm thankful for my job, and I'm just thankful for the doll community in general for just being so friendly and so welcoming. Um, I've been into dolls with my two Chi dolls, uh, my first doll was the Chi doll, and that was like, I think I got her back in, I don't know, 2013, 2014 maybe. I've been in the doll hobby for um, seven or eight years now, maybe going on nine years, and um, just smart doll in the last year or so. Um, and I still love some resin dolls out there. They're just amazing dolls, and I, I love other doll companies that make vinyl dolls, but I just love dolls. <laughs> and... Um, I'm just so thankful to be able to be a part of this community and um, I know it makes people just get so happy and so excited seeing different dolls um, and it's, it's just a happy thing right so here she is I have Kazuna and Milk so this is the Milk version her original um, bigger eyes I wonder did they ever release uh, this version of Kazuna in Cinnamon, or was she just in Milk and then discontinued? The funny thing is, I think when I got her, um, the Cinnamon Kazuna, last year, it was probably just shortly before they discontinued Milk, or they were just after discontinuing Milk, so a lot of these girls went away. Um, yeah, but I've just been lucky enough to pick up the Mirai, original Mirai and Milk, and now this Kazuna and Milk and uh, that'll probably be all I ever get because milk is not really available anymore. Um, but they look really fantastic together. I suppose, technically, um, the original would be the older sister, right? Because she was around in the world before the cinnamon version. Oh, they could be twins. They're so adorable. I love them. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, I... Just, I always am going to recommend Smart Doll. Their, their creations are just gorgeous. And so many um, independent artists out there are now making fantastic clothes for them. Um, alternate body parts, eyes, hair, everything. Everything that people love about Smart Dolls is inspiring them to create. And I find that to be super cool too. So, um, yay Smart Dolls. Yay Dolls. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is, you know, 2021. Um, and I'll see you in the groups. Hit me up with any questions. Um, and I'm just gonna pause it here and end the video with those two cute girls in the frame. So here we go.